Hey guys, today I am going to be doing a review and a lip swatch video of the new Anastasia of Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. I posted a photo of these liquid lipsticks as soon as I received them in the mail two days ago and asked you guys if you would like to see a video and review and lip swatches and you guys said yes! So that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. I was lucky enough to receive these bad boys early, which is why I am able to do this video for you guys right now. Anastasia and her daughter Claudia, who is also known as Norvina on Instagram. If you guys aren't following her, go follow her. She is beautiful and just fabulous and her little pony hair gives me life. They sent these out to a handful of beauty bloggers, makeup artists, and I was one of them that was lucky enough to receive these early, which is why I'm able to do this video for you guys. And I'm so excited! because I have been anticipating the arrival of these liquid lipsticks for quite some time because Claudia has told me that they've been working on them for a while and I love when hard work pays off and I just love when people finally are able to launch a product that they've been working so hard on because what we don't see behind the scenes is these things take forever. So it's always very exciting when a product finally launches and not only did they launch liquid lipsticks, they launched a full range of 19 shades. So it's like the color of the freaking rainbow up in here. That's why I'm sitting here staring like this because they're all laid out next to me and I'm like, hi. <laughs> but this video is in no way sponsored by Anastasia Beverly Hills. They did not pay me one little tiny dollar to film this video. I feel like I have to disclaim that because <laughs> anytime I ever do like a review on any sort of brand, everyone's always like, did someone pay you to say this? And no, I can't be bought. So that's what's happening, let's move on. There is going to be a 20th color that is launching in two weeks and that is going to be the shade Bambi. I do not have that right now because it has not launched yet. I don't think anybody has it yet, but it is like a purpley, pinky, very light lavender shade. You can see on Anastasia's Instagram and website, but I do not have that one. So I have all 19, but not the 20th, which is Bambi and will be releasing in two weeks. So these lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, do retail for $20 a piece on Anastasia's website and I believe Macy's.com right now. I don't know if they're in the Macy's store, but I think Macy's.com is where they're at. This is what the packaging looks like right here. It's got a silver cap. They tied in some gold right here at the top and then it has the Anastasia Beverly Hills right there on the packaging itself. So I think it's very pretty, very feminine. So basically what a liquid lipstick is, is a lipstick that comes in the form of a liquid lip gloss. Looks like a lip gloss, comes out, has the same applicator as a lip gloss. As you're applying it, it's going to be extremely high full coverage. And then within about 30 to 60 seconds, it's going to dry to a complete and total matte shade on the lips. Very, very long wearing, very pigmented, very high coverage. Like one swipe and you're like, oh lord. There are a few different ways to wear liquid lipsticks and I will tell you my personal favorite ways. My number one favorite way to wear a liquid lipstick is to line my entire mouth with a lip liner first, kind of as my base. I'll line my lips and then I'll completely fill it in and then I will go over top of it with a liquid lipstick. The reason I love this so much is because liquid lipsticks can be kind of drying because they are so matte, so long wearing, they really like grab on to your lips. So I like to put a lip liner all over my mouth first as a base and then put this over top because you're getting like double the power, double the longevity, and I just feel like it looks the best and it lasts forever. Another way I like to wear a liquid lipstick is I will put a little bit of a lip gloss over top of my lips, liquid lipstick. Because of the fact they are so dry and so matte, I will put a little bit of lip gloss because then I get the longevity of the liquid lipstick, but I get the moisture of the lip gloss. So it's just like, when to become one. Throwback, Spice Girls, yes. Okay, so let's get into the lip swatch portion of this video because I do have 19 different colors to swatch and this might take a little bit of time. And I have my olive oil right next to me ready to go. I'm telling you, olive oil is the best makeup remover ever, especially for long wearing lipsticks. My mom has been using this trick forever and it seriously works wonders. There is no makeup remover ever that you can buy that is gonna take off a long wearing matte lipstick or any makeup product for that matter like this will. You just take it, rub a little bit on your lips, grab a paper towel or a cotton pad and whoop, gone. Like it is the bomb.com. So that is what I will be using in between each lipstick to remove these lipsticks to go on to the next one. My lips might be in a little bit of pain, but we can power through. The first color we have is the shade Milkshake, which is a very, very pale pastel light pink. So, so girly. I love this color. Not everyone's gonna be comfortable with it, but for those of you who are, it's gonna give a very youthful, playful vibe. I absolutely love these colors on light blonde hair. I don't know why, but I think it just looks so feminine and so pretty. Next shade is Pure Hollywood, which is honestly just the perfect color of nude. I'm sure this is gonna be a very high seller for them because it is such a great nude shade. And depending on what lip liner and what gloss you use with it, you can really manipulate this color to match your skin tone perfectly. 
This is the shade Lovely, which is just a beautiful mid-tone kind of rosy pink. This will look beautiful on so many different skin tones because it's not too cool or too warm in the shade of pink. It's not too bright or too light. So this is lovely. Literally, it's lovely. Uh -huh. I get it. Now we have the shade Baby Pink. To me, this is like baby pink with a touch of highlighter in it, you know, because it's like baby pink, but like with a little bit of neon. I really love this shade. It is very Barbie to me, which is very fun, very girly. This next shade is called Retro Coral, which is exactly what it is called. This is such a fun, bright coral. This is idealistic for the summertime, like especially once you've got that little summer glow going on. This will just be absolutely beautiful. It screams summer to me, so Retro Coral. This is Sweet Talker, and this is honestly the perfect, bright, hot pink. It is so girly, it is so Barbie, it's not too warm or too cool. It is just that perfect, hot pink. Works for everybody. This is the shade Neon Coral, which as you can see, it has much more orange in it than the Retro Coral did. This is a tricky shade, but it can be so absolutely beautiful. You don't see it very often because of the fact that it is very orange on the lips, but I would really recommend this to those of you who have naturally yellow undertones on your skin, or those of you who have a little bit of a tan, also, the natural redheads out there who are more light in skin with some freckles and that light orangey red hair, this will look gorgeous on you, especially in the summertime. It'll be something so different and so fun. This is called Party Pink. And when I said before that one of these colors reminded me of Barbie Pink, no, this is Barbie Pink. This is so fun, so shocking, such an awesome pop of color, so over the top, just so Barbie. This is definitely Party Pink. This is the shade Vintage, and so far, this is my absolute favorite. I love this. It's such a deep berry purple. It's so beautiful, and it's a great way to do a very bold lip, but still have an edgy vibe, because sometimes you can do these hot pinks, these hot corals, and if you want more of an edgy vibe, that's gonna give you more of a, like, a girly glam vibe, where this will still allow you to keep that kind of darker, edgy vibe, while still making such a fun, girly statement, if you know what I'm saying. So this is the shade Vintage. This is the color Karina, which is a very warm, bright statement pink. This reminds me a lot of MAC Cosmetics Impassioned Lipstick. I haven't held them right next to each other to really like compare how similar they are, but just putting it on the lips, it's a very similar shade, which is a very popular, warm, hot pink. Absolutely love this. If you're too scared to do those really cool tone Barbie pinks, Karina will be the one for you. So here we have electric coral, and I love that we have retro coral, neon coral, and now electric coral. This I would definitely describe is a orangey red that is electric. It looks like it's on fire. It is so different and so absolutely beautiful. I love this color. So very orangey red, very electric. This is the shade Persimmon. I don't know if it's Persimmon or Persimmon. Persimmon. I think it's Persimmon, but it's all good. Whatever it is, it is a very bright, bright orange shade. It is a very true to orange. It's kind of a rusty orange with like a tint of red in it, but mainly it's just like a pure bright orange. This is the shade Spicy, which is crazy because as I was applying it before I even looked at it, I was like, this reminds me of a hot pepper. And then when I looked at it, I was like, spicy. So I don't know if that's a coincidence or not. This is a little bit different than the color that we just saw before because it's a little bit darker and has a little bit more red in it. They are very similar. I personally think that this one is just a little bit more wearable. I would totally wear this color. And especially if you're gonna line your lips with a red lip liner first, it won't make it look as orange. And you can kind of go back and forth and use it with and without a lip liner, depending how you wanna wear it. So this is the shade Spicy. This is the shade Bloodline. And again, this is a warm undertone of kind of going like all in a row, the colors that are similar to one another. So this is a very deep red with a hint of orange in it. It is just absolutely beautiful. Some people prefer that retro cool tone lip and some people prefer that more warm lip. And for those of you who like a warmer, orangier undertone, this will be the red for you. I absolutely love this shade. This is a shade American Doll and this is like the perfect, more cool tone retro matte red, which I absolutely love that they named it American Doll since it's such a retro red. I think it's just adorable. So this is a very, very classic red for you. This is the shade Vamp. And as I was applying it, I was like, I have no idea how I could even explain the color of this because it's just so different. I've never ever worn a color like this in my life. And at first I thought it's brown. And then I was like, no, because it has some plum undertones. I really don't know how to explain this, but it very much reminds me of that famous lip color that Kylie Jenner is wearing right now, but just a few shades darker. This 
I thought I was gonna hate when I first started putting it on, but now that it's fully on, I really actually like it a lot, but I never would have picked this out for myself. So I really do like this color, and I would recommend this for those of you who have a little bit of color in your skin, or even if you are very dark in skin tone, you could wear this as a neutral lip, and it would be gorgeous. This is the shade Heathers, and oh my gosh, I love, love this color. First of all, Heathers is a very classic movie from the 90s. If you haven't seen it, it's awesome. <laughs> I love this color so much. This is so vampy and just dark and different too. I do not even feel like I own a color that is extremely similar to this. Absolutely love the shade. It kind of reminds me of my hair color, honestly, just a little bit more cherry in it. Oh, it's beautiful. So this is Heathers. This is the coolest color oh my gosh i love this wow this is the shade sad girl and oh my gosh this is gorgeous i did not think i was gonna like this because it has glitter in it it has like little reflex of pink throughout it and when i put it on i was like what i do not like glitter lipstick at all but this is so cool because it's a matte liquid lipstick but yet it has reflex of pink in it. It is so different. I don't own anything like this. I've never seen anything like this and it's just beautiful. So different. They did this right. This is awesome. What is this? This is Sad Girl. Last but most certainly not least, we have the color Potion, which needs no introduction whatsoever. This color is phenomenal, but it is definitely not going to be a color that everybody and their mama is going to be running out to buy. This is a very, very intense dark shade. It could almost look like it's black from a distance, but it is a dark, dark purple, and it has like a hint of royal blue in it, which just makes it so different, so unique, just absolutely gorgeous. I love this color so much. It is ideal for like a photo shoot or just doing something super fun, super intense. It's so edgy. Love, love, love this color. All right, so that completes this video. Honestly, you guys, oh my God, my lips hurt so bad. Even though that may not have seemed like a long time to you, it took me an hour and 30 minutes to do those lip swatches because it was just like, wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. This is my first ever lip swatching video and I went into it with a bang with 19 different lip swatches, so that was intense. But I hope you guys appreciated it because I personally like lip swatches so much better than swatching on the back of the hand or the arm because you just get so much more of a feel for the way they apply, the way they look on the lips, the way they look with the skin and all that jazz. So I hope you enjoyed it. Also, I just wanted to let you know that every single lip swatch that I showed you, I only did one application. So I would pull it out of the tube. I would just go over my lips like this one time and then put it back in. I never double dipped and like went back and back and back so you can truly see how pigmented they were. So the colors you saw on me were one layer. If you did two layers and went back into your tube, they would get brighter, they would get darker, they would get more intense. Also keep in mind that any of these colors will be able to be manipulated and changed up according to the lip liner that you put underneath of it or the gloss that you put on top of it. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Also, yes, since I was zoomed into my lips, I'm sure you guys are gonna notice, I used to have my lip pierced. I had it pierced for six years. That is why I have a hole there. One time when I was working at Max, a woman walked up to me and was like, oh, you have something. And she was like trying to like, like get it off of my face. And I was like, what? And it was just my scar. It wasn't even the actual lip ring. And she was like, oh, I'm sorry. It's a hole in your face. I was like, oh my God. So yes, I had my lip pierced for six years. Back in my scene days, I was so emo and so hardcore. So that is what that scar is from. But I do need your help with something right before you go. For those of you that are still sticking around, can you please comment down below and let me know which video you'd like to see next. I'm debating back and forth. I have a makeup tutorial in mind that I am so excited to film. I was sitting in front of my mirror the other night and got super inspired to do this look that I'm so excited for. Or I can do my best of beauty, which is my whole roundup of my favorite beauty products of the entire year of 2014. Cause I feel like that video is appropriate anytime during the month of January. So if you guys, would like to see the makeup tutorial, let me know, or the best of beauty, or I could do one and then the other. Comment what you would like to see below, and then I will let you guys know on Twitter which one of them majority rules and which one I will be filming next. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Just not ask, if you know what I'm saying. You are the worst at this, Jacqueline. Oh my God, how did you even get, how did you even land a job here on YouTube? Mm -hmm. Is that like I want to fix you? I have a song that's dedicated to my bud today. Give me a minute. When you try so hard, but you don't succeed.
the bonus to the heavens. I don't remember. Review and swatches of the new. Don't oh, what's up? Because they were gonna be like swatching some some liquid lipsticks, y'all. So basically, what a liquid. Oh my god, no. Ram, she is a. <laughs> a lick my milkshake brings the voice to y'all and they're like it's better than yours damn <laughs> gosh why can't i say the word familiar familiar so some of you may not be so some of you what a liquid lipstick is is a lipstick that is liquid <laughs> Seriously, Jacqueline, 